Hey there, uh, Feng Zhu here with a video tutorial today on how to set up and carry out a production painting. Uh, the image you have here uh, is something that I've done in class uh, live in front of the students. Uh, it took about uh, a little bit more than an hour to do, uh, but it was based on a sketch which I'll show you shortly uh, that was originally done by the student themselves. Um, uh, just to before we get started here, I'm just going to say that I'm going to keep this quite casual. So if you notice uh, me uh, stuttering or doing some grammar mistakes, uh, hopefully that's okay because I'm I don't want to go back and edit these and make it super super polished. Uh, in the hopes that I could do a bunch of these and release a few uh, every week. Okay, so let's get started here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the original layer. Okay, boom. And there you go. So this is the original sketch done by the student. Uh, when you first look at it, obviously it's not the greatest thing in the world right now because uh, the student's still in the process of learning their perspective and setup. But however, the the composition and the overall story is there, and that's why I chose to work on the student's uh, uh, painting to show how do you enhance this and how do you make it better. So I'm gonna make some quick notes here about why I think this is a good start. For one, I noticed there's, a, there's an interesting story going on. There is a nice vehicle here, there's people here, right? And they look like they're about to head into something. There's something going on. It, there's a sense of tension in this. And compositionally is nice because you have a building of layers. And what I mean by that is that you have these walls here, you have these people over here, you have vehicles over here, you have another vehicle over here, and then you have buildings, and then you have some kind of distance that goes further and further. And basically this helps the viewer, which is uh, you and I, to get a sense of space, meaning that even though this is a 2D painting, is tricking the eye to think that it's actually happening in 3D space and that's very important to do because when we're playing a video game or watching a movie essentially you are dealing with a 2D surface the uh, the movie screen or the TV screen uh, the computer screen is a 2D surface so you have to try all sorts of little tricks and perspective techniques value lighting to help the human eye understand that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this layer back on and turn everything else off to show you step by step about how we go about this. Okay. So the first thing I did here is I looked at the shot. I go, okay, what is, this, what is the selling point? Right? Selling point not meaning the money, but basically what does the viewer see? In my opinion, the eyes tends to go to this vehicle. It goes to these guys here and this vehicle here. So we have to make sure this becomes our priority. So I'm going to say that's our first read this vehicle. Okay. The second read, most likely these little dudes over here. You know, and Debatable, maybe somewhere over here is our second read, but let's just make this kind of reading system. But number one being this vehicle. So it's quite important that this thing stands out. So the first thing I did is I, I copied and pasted the same basic drawing in a really crappy version. I just pasted it here and just make it bigger. Make it bigger on screen. So it's easier for the uh, for the audience to actually just identify with it. And it silhouettes his up his uh, silhouette out from the background. You can see here by doing this, now he is standing against the background, creating uh, a contrast. You can see here is the buildings, and here is the vehicle. And this is all I needed to do to start the next phase, which let me see. Okay, I darken a little bit, nothing really here. This is where I started to paint. Okay, and I'll start explaining. Uh, the kind of thinking that went, be, uh, went uh, behind this uh, paint over. Okay, so here's the drawing on and off so you can see. Okay, the first thing I did here at, at this stage is perspective, is make sure I have a proper camera lens and proper perspective so I know where the horizon is. All right, whatever I start one of these paintings, I always want to know the horizon point. That allows me to set up the shot to know that when I'm looking up or when am I looking down, right? And also how does light gonna work? If this is below the, the horizon, is this above the horizon, I'll know it. So here we are, so this is going to a vanishing point obviously, and then we have another uh, object here that's going into this vanishing point. So this is basically the great horizon lines right here, or the big, I'll draw it bigger, right? Big old H right here, that's your horizon. So basically everything above here, above horizon, I see up into, like the bottom of this tank right here, and everything below I see the bottom of, for example, this ground and dirt, okay? So that's the first thing I did. And having that perspective set up allows me to sketch, you know, roughly, but properly so it's not much guesswork going on okay so about setting up the shot in the original image here you see these soldiers running around there's a tank and there's walking max walking this way which is good um, so I enhanced that with a little bit more storytelling I put a stronger foreground element here to seal off the composition on this side and I put another building on this side to seal off the composition on this side and by putting things in a looping composition here you can see here these are all sloped Okay, 
watch the sloping of the guy's weapons. It slopes the composition into this mech here, and same with this here. So this will come down. Notice the shape reads, and this is not the design. This is just shape flow. Right? How do you orientate the um, composition to basically feed the human eye to go into this vehicle here? And notice even these guys. The way you know it's, it's rough here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this guy look that way. Okay, I'm gonna make these guys all look that way, and then make these guys look that way, right? But this guy, this guy here, I'm gonna make him look at the camera. Okay, and the reason for that is I want the eye to stop. So basically, as you look here, your, your eye starts to wonder. At any point you wander into here or wander into here, it's gonna try to bring back into the main uh, selling point of this the, uh, painting, which is this vehicle. So by putting the eye looking this way, what's gonna do is gonna stop the, the flow. When I see him, I'm gonna go try to look back here. So he's almost looking directly at the cameraman or maybe at this dude right here uh, to stop the flow. Okay, and okay, so let's uh, let's get rid of this layer here real quick. Let's make a new layer. Okay, so the next thing I did is I, I balanced the value a little bit. Right? I'm working in black and white. Okay, and so when I talk value, it's about the intensity of light that is hitting the eye, where therefore is the the black and white values. Right, I got black that's very dark, uh, white or light gray is very light. Okay, so I did a little quick uh, value study here to basically lighten up the background a little bit to give me more atmosphere. Okay. Next thing I did here, a little bit more to balance it out. It's very important to balance it out uh, at this stage so that when you zoom out, you can see I'm zooming out to make it really, really, really tiny, that it's starting to read, that the selling point is there. So when I zoom out like this, I could tell that, okay, there's something definitely here for my eye to see, and there's something over here for my eye to see, and then there's some kind of background. It has a level of depth and detail, even at a very small stage, and this is important to do in a production painting, so you don't get in over detailed and get bogged down by all the stuff that's going on. Rather, work in a much bigger scale. Okay, so at this stage, I start adding more uh, stuff, some things to fill the page with. So, for example, background gets a little darker. Then I balance those out. You can see on and off what I'm doing here. Uh, add a little bit more detail here and there, and then start to paint. So at this stage is when I'm confident enough with the painting to know what I'm doing. It's like, okay, I think this is a good shot. Uh, I like the overall composition. I like where the people are. I like the size of the vehicle here. I think everything is starting to work. So let's start adding your second level details.